North Korea firing some type of projectile, unclear exactly what type at this point. We know that it landed in the ocean. Let's bring in our correspondent, Alexandra Field, who is joining us now by phone from Seoul, South Korea. Alexandra, what have you learned so far? Hey, George, another week, another launch, and now officials are trying to figure out exactly what North Korea launched and what this could say about their rapidly evolving missile program. For now, officials here in South Korea just confirming uh, that a projectile was launched, and it appears that it was launched from the same area in North Korea where we saw a previously failed attempt back at the end of April when a projectile was launched uh, but exploded over land. That attempt was considered a failure. But, George, let's be clear, this is about a dozen ballistic missile attempts that North Korea has pulled off just since the start of the year, since the start of the Trump administration. Administration. Uh, South Korea elected a new president just shy of two weeks ago. A week ago, he had to deal with responding to a provocation from North Korea, and now it seems in the second week, another provocation. Again, we know very little about the projectile that was launched, but officials will want to look at what kind of missile this could have potentially been, how far it could have traveled, and whether or not the test was a success. If it was a success, it comes on the heel of a highly successful test just last week. Uh, that's when the missile was launched, which landed closer to Russia than Japan, which is a break from what we have seen during the recent missile test. Uh, that was a missile that officials say traveled higher and went farther than previous missile attempts. And it was seen by many analysts as a bold step forward and in, uh, an important step towards the long-stated goal of North Korea, which is to develop an intercontinental ballistic missile capable, of course, of carrying a nuclear warhead to the U.S. We have heard North Korean officials uh, speaking to news outlets in recent months vowing that they would continue these tests on a weekly basis, that they are working to get a working ICBM. Uh, every test we know is an opportunity for them to learn more in terms of developing uh, their own program. It is also, of course, an opportunity for the world to learn more about what their capability is, what their capacity is. So we should be hearing more from officials as they try to analyze the trajectory of the projectile launched today from North Korea.